Welcome back, folks. The late Norman Lear is remembered for his undeniable influence on American television. He was the force behind some groundbreaking shows like All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and Good Times. But times weren't always so good for others who were heavily involved in those iconic sitcoms. Eric Deckens is a TV critic and media analyst for NPR, and he's here to discuss another side of Norman Lear's legacy, which may have gone unnoticed to the viewers at home. Eric, it's really good to have you. Um, since news of Norman Lear's passing, there's been ongoing discussions about his ability to infuse TV shows like All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and The Jeffersons with issues people were grappling with at the time, including race. Give me a sense of why this was so iconoclastic for its time. Well, uh, basically, before uh, All in the Family, which was um, Norman Lear's first hit sitcom, uh, a lot of TV sitcoms were escapist. They were shows that um, didn't talk about the problems of everyday life because TV executives figured that people were watching TV to escape their problems. Uh, but Norman Lear was part of a generation of TV producers who realized that taught by digging into real issues, discussions that people were having in their homes, uh, things that they were struggling with every day, um, people would really find that uh, compelling. And so All in the Family after a season became uh, a hit. And so it added fuel to his efforts to try and talk realistically and, uh, you know, more explicitly about race and creating shows that featured black families and, and black people. Yeah. And those clips have made the rounds online. I still find myself laughing at some of the exchanges between the characters. Um, despite the success of these shows and others, things weren't always cool between the show's writers, the black creators, and the black actors. Um, Eric Monty's name has come up a lot this week for claims he was shut down or shut out by Lear. We also see some of the tension in making good times with actors like Esther Roll and John Amos, unhappy with the show's direction at times. This is featured in a PBS documentary on Lear's legacy. How exactly do we square these things? Lear's legacy is, you know, really infusing these shows with some hard-hitting topics, but also some of the black people who were a part of these shows um, really not being satisfied at, at all the decision-making. Well, you know, these are some complex situations. Uh, Good Times was created by two black writers, one of them an actor, and uh, the actor enlisted his friend, Eric Monte, and together they wrote the first script uh, for Good Times. Now, in, Lear, in his uh, memoir, says that the script that they turned in wasn't very good and had to be reworked significantly, so he felt like he was doing them a favor by still listing them as creators on the show. Eric Monte has come forward um, um, and uh, and said that he felt that he was sort of unfairly shut out of profits for the show, that he had helped uh, create the characters of the Jeffersons, and that he had uh, suggested um, that, that Norman Lear take a look at Red Fox for Sanford and Son, and, and he felt as if he had been unfairly excluded. He did accept a, a settlement, but he always uh, felt as if uh, he, had, he had not been done right by that process. And uh, Esther Roll and John Amos, the stars of, of Good Times, always wanted the show to reflect an uplifting image of black people. So when the show started to feature J.J., a character that seemed to be more stereotypical, they were concerned about that and upset about that. And they were also upset about some storylines. And they also uh, balked sometimes at some of the jokes that were created by the white writing staff for these black characters. And John Amos wasn't, he admits that he wasn't particularly diplomatic about <laughs> expressing his problems. Mm -hmm. And so eventually Norman didn't pick up his contract and he was written out of the show. Uh, and, and uh, um, you know, that that's, I think that's what happens when you have creative people. You know, Norman Lear was trying mm -hmm. to make a show that was commercially successful. And when J.J., that character, became popular... The, they steered the, the show's stories towards that character, trying to maintain the mm -hmm. popularity. Meantime, Esther Roll and John Amos were going out in the world, and black people were asking them, why is this show focused on this more stereotypical character instead of some of the more other uplifting characters? So there was a, a natural tension there uh, that sometimes uh, mm -hmm. resulted in disagreements and ultimately resulted in, in John and Esther leaving the show. Yeah. Eric Deggins with NPR. Many thanks for this conversation. We appreciate you coming by and sharing your expertise. 
Thank you. I'm Christian Bryant. Thank you for joining us. For the audience leaving us right now, your local programming is up next. And check us out on scriptsnews.com. If you're staying with us, there's more news headed your way on The Debrief.